Celtic violinist Jeffrey Castle is back home this St. Patrick's holiday after spending decades here entertaining crowds for his annual celebration. COVID canceled shows and venues for two years. In his time off, Castle kept playing, ready for the day he would return. And he's joining me now right here in studio for a preview in the flesh. In the flesh, indeed. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy you guys invited me. It's great to be back in Seattle. Oh, my gosh. So you actually, due to everything that happened with COVID, you had to leave for a while. What were you doing during the well, pandemic? I, I needed to keep busy doing something. I couldn't play music, really, for people in person, mm -hmm. which is what I love to do. Yeah. So I moved to Santa Fe. Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is yeah. a gorgeous place, by the way. What did you do in Santa Fe? Well, my, my wife's an artist, and uh, so we're building an artist compound. Oh, um, just in the, build the compound? The yeah, I, I live out where they make all the cowboy movies. Oh, my gosh, that's But so here's fun. the thing. I bought the hat. Here in Seattle. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be your 15th annual St. Patrick's Day tour of the Pacific Northwest. Absolutely. So where are you playing next? Um, well, tomorrow um, we are at you know St. Patrick's Day proper. We're at the uh, Everett Historic Theater. Okay. Um, and uh, it's on Colby, um, and I believe there might still be tickets available. Oh. Okay. So what people? What can people expect during the show? It's a party. <laughs> That's, a, I mean, just plain and simple. But yeah, no, we're, we'll, we'll make you laugh, we'll make you cry, we'll make you clap your hands and sing along. And uh, you'll get into the real spirit of, of St. Patrick's Day the way it really ought to be without, like, you know, being jostled by drunks in a bar. That's true. I really like it. So, what made you start playing violin, electric violin? Well, um, the electric violin, I, I wanted to be as loud as an electric guitar. I had, mm -hmm. I had a friend who uh, I'm had a rock band when I was in high school and they would practice in my basement and I'd try to play along and they all had like Marshall stacks and everything yeah. and I'm like you know I wanted to play with the band but nobody could hear the violin so I'm like I want to make a violin be as loud as an electric guitar <laughs> and uh, yeah I've, I've got that so yeah. I love it well <laughs> <laughs> well we want to hear it loud right now so let me get you started let me get out of the way so you can play how about a little whiskey in the Woo! jar <laughs> And I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore, I never will betray thee. For the devil take the women, for they never can be easy with thee. Bring on the doo 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 now. Nah, whack for the daddy o Whack for the daddy o There's whiskey in the jar. Went up to the chamber for to take my slumber. I dreamt of golden jewels, and for sure it was no wonder. For Jenny drew me charges. She filled them up with water and went for Captain Farrell to be ready for the slaughter. Bring out the doo 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 Oh, my pleasure. 